Sonia Miller of Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my daily vlog except right about this time it's after supper it is getting into the evening and there's a giant rainstorm taking place outside so this is the perfect evening slash night to paint so last night we worked on this piece together and we're gonna finish it off tonight I want to get it done I want to get it in place in my living room tonight it's gonna be so cozy when I get it done I'll show you where I put it in just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead, run, and grab a tarp for the floor. I'm gonna finish off the top a little bit, do a few more little things with it. So I've got a few things to add to the top. I'm gonna to work on it a little bit more to get it just where I want it to be, but I love what I'm seeing right now. You guys saw me last night on the vlog build these flowers to this point, and you saw how many layers, how many brush strokes, but at the end of the day, doing all those layers and bringing it all together, it just creates such flow and dimension. You guys um, have written in before and you said, you know, I see so much movement in your flowers. And so there are a lot of brush strokes. Let me just tell you that. So I'm thinking for the base, base, maybe doing it in white. Right now she's brownie frowny. And when I get my tarp down, I'll pull the camera out a little bit so we, you can see me do the base. So yeah, cue the music. Let's make this girl shine. white coat all the way around. I'm gonna go for full coverage on the bottom versus doing a super distressed effect because I don't want it to look so busy down here that it takes away from all of this going on up here. So therefore, I went with a nice classic white, fresh white. Like I said, I have a lot of dark wood in my um, around my house. So I think this will give it a nice pop of color with all these flowers. Oh my gosh, love it so far. But I'm going to be patient and let this very first layer dry. Probably go do some stuff, take care of some things and then come back and go back over it again um, to really make it completely solid. And then at that point, I probably will maybe go ahead because you guys know that I'm a girl who loves some distressed furniture. Take my sand block and maybe knock off a little bit around the edges. I'll see by the time I get to the very end. So I've got two other pieces of furniture in my living room that I painted white. You guys were with me. We went to an auction together here on the vlog. Remember that one? And then I showed you in the yard me painting the big round coffee table, the like jumbo coffee table and the round end stand that went with it. So I had that painted in the same color. So this is gonna be a nice third piece. I think that will be good to have three nice pieces with white, fresh white in my living space. And my couch is gray, I've got blues and yellows. The yellow being the Be My Honey, which is what's in the center of these flowers. So that will tie in with my uh, entertainment stand, my buffet turned entertainment stand that I got for cheap off of Marketplace, yay. And uh, yeah, so maybe I'll add in a little bit of gray so it matches the couch. Remember when you're decorating, it's good. If you have um, a color, not just one place, but it appears in multiple places, your eye loves to see pattern and therefore it really brings an entire space room together. <laughs> I don't think I ever live a day without paint on my hands. <laughs>
And once my banana peel is dry, I'm able to move it into place. So of course, this is later on a Friday evening, so it's not very bright right now outside, but hopefully you can get the idea of where I put it right here in my living room. And I didn't realize how high this end stand was until I actually moved it into this space. And so I decided to put it up, put it right there next to the couch. So, so I'm really glad that I put some gray into it so it, it blends in and fits well. So I'll give you guys a complete first level house tour here very, very soon. So stay tuned. Here I am treating myself because of all the hard work that I just did. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another project. Take care, my friends.